75 years after the Battle of Iwo Jima began, an aviation museum curator is on a mission. He wants to return a Japanese flag that belongs to a Japanese soldier who died during the battle. LEX 18's Jacqueline Nye reports. They flew nonstop to Japan and back, and they didn't have a fighter that could fly that far. Bernard Roque has been a volunteer curator at the Aviation Museum for the last 10 years. One of two Army Air Force squadrons that deployed to Iwo Jima. Since Roque started, he has been going through the museum's inventory, researching everything he can get his hands on. One day, he dug up this framed Japanese flag from World War II. They're called Yosi Kagi Hinomaru. Hinomaru is the Japanese name for their national flag, and Yoshikage basically means name around the sun. Roke says he tried for years to have the lettering translated, but didn't have any luck. Signature number two. That is until a museum visitor named Yuki helped him translate 50 of the 56 names. Roke says meeting her was fate. Number four. Among those names on the flag. This is Takahashi Kinzu. And that is the name of the man that this flag was given to. A Japanese serviceman who fought and died during the Battle of Iwo Jima. There's several Takahashis in here, so obviously those were blood relatives, but these were also friends that were wishing their friend well going off to war. Roke then found a Japanese article written about Takahashi's grandson who had recently visited Iwo Jima. And this was a picture that his grandmother had on a, on a mirror at her house and then when she passed away, he took it and he kept it at his house, always wondering about his grandfather. Roke says his mission is to give Takahashi's grandson his grandfather's flag. I would think the family of this man would like to have something concrete that they can hold and knew that their their father and grandfathers held it and that it meant something very much to him. And he says there's been contact with the grandson and Roke is hoping the flag is going to be back where it belongs soon. In Lexington, Jacqueline Nye, LEX 18 News.